Loader. So what I wanted to talk about was uh, putting a Super Nintendo controller on a breadboard, which gives you, you know, agency over the buttons. So you can do things like um, have an Arduino with sensors interface with the, the button uh, pins, or you could, you know, aesthetically just make like a, um, a arcade stick type deal. But without getting too technical, I wanted to talk about how it works. So if we start with, you know, Arduino, I mean, I'm sorry, an uh, Atari style interface, right? And I don't remember the exact pins, but it, it's very simple. You know, it just one pin goes to ground and then there's, and then there's different pins for different uh, buttons, like up, down, lift, right, and fire, right? Hey. So what the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo did was use something called a shift register. It looks like this, <laughs> it's like a chip. Um, and this one is the 4021 in the Super Nintendo. Um, basically what that does, it's a, it's a parallel to serial shift register. And all you really need to know about how it works is that it takes the parallel input. So, you know, um, X, Y, B, A, etc., and then it takes it all in and converts it to a kind of um, you know a, a linear, you know, non-parallel serial. So um, as time goes on, these buttons, you know, become pulses somewhere, right? And they be, they, you know, this is across time. So that's very simple and that, that's really you don't need even need to know all this stuff um, so let's just get into actually making it um, I'll link the actual schematic in the description but to do this you're gonna need some materials obviously you're gonna need a breadboard you're gonna need some wires you're gonna need uh, resistors these are the 10 kilo ohm the black I mean the brown black orange ones um, you're gonna need uh, some buttons obviously these are just some buttons I had around you need 12 of them because of Super Nintendo and then you need two of the shift registers and then you are gonna need a Super Nintendo controller wire this one I got from a third party it was at one of those weird clone consoles family clone consoles so if you look online on a link to this image too you, you can get the wire color relative to the Super Nintendo uh, controller pin out. But what I had to do, because the wire colors aren't the same, I had to kind of pop the front out um, and then find out what colors were related to each pin that way. So that's that. And then I'm just gonna show you a quick little video of putting it together. So it's put together and then here's a video of it showing it working. Um, this is on the clone console and I have a little demo on a power pack by, from Retro USB, Retro Zone, whatever it's called. And I'm, I'm just pressing, this is a little demo where the, the sprite moves with the buttons and that's about it y'all. Bye bye.